What y'all got going on YouTube? We is back with another video. Long story short though, people, uh, LaCasse was gonna go to the jeweler. If y'all didn't watch in my recent videos, I was on a jet ski and I almost knocked one of the pins out of my Rolex and it almost went flying into the ocean. Grace of God, that bitch didn't go flying into the ocean. LaCasse still got that bitch, but I knocked out five diamonds on the jet ski and I knocked one of my pins out. So we finna go see if we can go get my watch fixed. I found a jeweler in a local area. We finna get now see what he's talking about. But I'll show y'all the watch when I get in the car and I'll show y'all the jeweler when we get there. So there I got my bit coming through valet, man. I need to get my shit clean, boy. It's dirty as hell. So I'm finna give y'all a view of like what's wrong with my watch. Long story short, every single link on this watch got pins in it. If you look real close, let me see where the fuck the pin at that knocked out. If you look real close on, hold up, damn, this shit got my watch acting weird as fuck, bro, without the pen. If you look real close at this pen right here, this last pen, it won't focus on it, but if you look real close to that last pen, it's hanging out. I tried to knock it back in a little bit, but it did not, it did not go all the way back in. But beyond the pen, you see it got like three diamonds missing right there. This motherfucker got, I just lost a big ass diamond over here when I was on a jet ski. This bitch got diamonds missing everywhere, people, but yeah. We finna go get the diamonds put back in it. Finna get my links and shit fixed. So I get the eye folks when we get to the jeweler, man. We're at Gold of Diamond Miami, man, by Chris the Jeweler. I am trying to see if I can get my watch fixed real quick, people. Y'all know I've been walking around naked. I hate walking around with no jewelry on. My wrist look real bare without that motherfucker. But, man, y'all folks, y'all should come check Chris out, man. This shit look good, man. The man got a whole bunch of shit in here. Full ass inventory, everything you could think of. All VS Plus quality, man. Y'all folks, come check out Chris in the Diamond District, man. But yeah, folks, I'm finna get my watch fixed and I get back to y'all when I'm done. Hold up, man. We got some pieces right here, people. Okay. Just got done. I actually seen this one on Instagram. That's crazy. Yeah. I like this one with a little bird on it. Yeah, some watch. How much y'all charge for something like this, about this size? Something like this. Probably like a dub. A dub? That ain't shit, though. Uh, What about Cubans and shit like that? Cubans? Yeah, I don't come fuck with y'all, bro. Y'all prices ain't bad. It, it, oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, Cuban's nice as hell. That's really all I want is a Cuban. I damn near don't even want no pennant for real. Especially if you go big, you go 600, that's all you need to wear. Yeah. So look, how much is something like, eh, I kind of want it like this, like this. They say, boy, I ain't bought jewelry since like two months ago. It might be that time again, people. Y'all know I go crazy, YouTube. Say it one more time. 22? It's not bad. It's Hold up. Put it, on, put it on there one more time so I see it. Okay, look. Hold on. I'm trying to show y'all. Oh, yeah. See, I like. It's crazy because I had a pair of diamond studded bucks, but they gone. I like y'all. I was better. Damn. Hold up. They got some big gems on this motherfucker. I had some little baby diamonds on my shit. Yeah, I like that. That's nice as hell. Okay. I made a pair for Luke like this. That's cool as hell. So, who all of y'all did uh, jury for as far as like. Uh, Let's see, like celebrities and stuff like that go. Mayweather. Mayweather. That's yeah, hard. We made those Piccadilly seats for Mayweather. Which one? He picked them with the black lens. That's hard as fuck. Instagram. Hey, man. I told y'all. There is some shit in here now. But yeah, man, these Cartiers, I like these. These are actually pretty nice, bro. Y'all know I really ain't wore Cartiers in a minute. I really stopped wearing shades and stuff like that, but I might get back into it. But me personally, though, I like this Cuban link. He said about like 30, 35. I could do that, though. I might settle at like 20, 25. Y'all know I don't like stretching my money out too, too far, but. Yeah, I, I like it though. I ain't gonna lie. But I'm gonna get back to y'all folks in a second, man. What they say? I'm finna, I'm finna take their stuff off and give it back. I'm finna get my watch fixed and I'll get back to y'all and get ready to leave unless I see something else. No, I'm already knowing. So, man, we in here t right now talking about trades and stuff. Because if y'all know my birthday coming up, and me personally, I feel like it's either A time to upgrade or B trying to buy a new watch. But I like this, man. I ain't gonna lie. This is nice as hell. Y'all already know I like the Oyster Band more than the Date Just Band, but what yeah. I can not tell y'all is the way they piece it together with the ooh wee. Yes, you got baguettes on the dial, baguettes on the band. Nah, this is nice. I like this. Okay. Ooh. And then, hold on, let me show them the Cartier you had. Now, y'all know I ain't the biggest fan of Cartier's, but I can't lie, this Cartier is, is pretty crazy. Hold up, I'm gonna show y'all this. Ooh, 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 ooh. This one got emeralds. This one got emerald cut. Okay, now this is a little bit different. This ain't spaghetti spaghetti. If y'all don't know, emeralds cost more people. I like this one too, though. I like this one. I like this one, boy. I don't know, bro. It's so crazy. Cause I thought I didn't like Cartier, but I kind of do like this one. That one's special. That one's different. 
We just sold the skeleton too. We got a skeleton. See, that's what I like for real, for real. skeleton. Okay, so look, we got this is an AP, right? Mm -hmm. Hold up, why won't focus? There we go. AP, boom. This is a 15400. Mm -hmm. There's a new movement. They opened up that back a little bit. That's hard. That's Big nice as hell. Feet. How much the AP is going for? This one right here, we got probably like 40, price, 50, bro. right? No, this is 53. 53? Not bad though. What diamond quality is it? Three VS1. VS1? Custom made. made with a two tone, though, people. Hey, man. <laughs> Hey, y'all know I y'all know I said I'm Chris Jeweler, man. Y'all folks see, man. We're getting everything put back together. My bitch is back in shape. I've been waiting to get my bitch put back on. <laughs> hey man, I keep telling y'all, come forward to business, man. Shit, well put together. Everything in here is A1, man. We ain't doing number VS plus quality in here, man. Y'all folks can get anything you want. I'm talking about we got watches, chains, earrings, rings. What they say? Hold up, now. Oh yeah, y'all ain't seen this now. Okay, cool. Tennis bracelets. Tennis bracelets. I'm, I'm telling y'all now, this this ain't the one to play with. This ain't no regular jeweler now. Okay, cool. <laughs> Tell them this. How much is this inventory right here? Just just this one little section. Just about a million and a half. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> what they say? A whole bunch of shit going on and then fuck all that when i tell you the prices in here is a one if y'all know anything about when i do my vlogs in atlanta and i was walking around doing shopping in atlanta y'all know they be trying to cheat your pockets and wax you down to your drawers but what i can tell y'all is people i was in here talking to them not even too long man something i would pay probably about like probably about 30 40 for in atlanta man they gonna get you right 2025 20, man y'all folks come check this shit out man i kid y'all not like i said man we is at gold seven of miami by chris the jeweler man y'all folks come check this out we just left out the jeweler man as y'all can see i got my little bitch fixed this bitch is clean now we ain't missing no more diamonds we back in the game people well yeah man i got some nice ass old schools in this little uh parking deck that's holding my car these old schools nice as hell Oh, we got like a Ferrari in the back. This shit nice. My little bitch sitting nice and pretty. I don't know if you can see her, but she right there. Little bitch sitting nice and pretty, man. Miss my whip. Nigga say whip back, watch back, everything back. Now nah, y'all folks gonna have to goddamn catch me, boy. I'm finna shit. My birthday coming up. My birthday coming. Shit on y'all, boy. Hold on, huh? a quick view of the ocean and shit like that i know a lot of people got down ain't never seen miami before so if y'all ain't never seen miami let me be the first to show you we still in the ca people got down i'm finna got down go back out of town in a couple days let me roll these windows up but yeah i'm finna go back out of town in a couple days and shit like that so uh i'm just giving y'all a last little time to enjoy this shit with me before i leave we'll be back in miami and back in the ca next week y'all know how i do but y'all know the casper is on the world tour right now so i've been doing a lot of state hopping and shit but I'll get back to y'all. We close to the beach, folks. I'll see y'all in a second. Man, we passing by little villas and shit right now, folks. Little Casper is over here, got down driving through this little miniature neighborhood, doing my little vlog and shit, man. This shit is so pee, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I can't. <laughs> shit, nigga say, I don't finna give me a little loft, little apartment, little high rise, but man, these little villas is pee, man. I know these niggas got the pool in the back and everything, man. Look at this nigga balcony, man. This nigga shit pee. This is pee, people. This is amazing, boy. Hey, bro, I love Miami, bro. The vibes, you can't, hold up, let me show y'all. This, I can't just show, I just, I can't just show the camera without showing y'all folks this shit. Man, this shit is pee, man. Hold up, man, we on Instagram at the same time vlogging people, but this shit pee, man. This shit, you ain't got the villas out this bitch. I love shit like this. I love shit like this. He say, hold up, bro, getting a job is what gets you to where you need to be. I had a job before, and a job ain't do nothing but benefit me and get me to that next level. One thing about having a job is a job teaches you financial structure. A lot of niggas don't know how to handle finances or handle themselves correctly because they never had a job, which means they don't have a genuine respect for money. 
when you don't have a genuine fucking respect for money, you're going to blow that shit. You're going to go outside and go to the club every week because you feel like you got to. You're going to go buy Balenciagas. You're going to go buy Gucci. Bro, I promise to God, y'all niggas see me do all of this little shopping shit and all the shit I be doing. I only spend 25% of what I make, people. If I only spend 25% of what I make, if y'all folks see me spend, let's say y'all see me spend 10K, nigga, 10%, nigga, 25%, nigga, that means I done damn near made 100, at least, bro, at least. But, bro, I've never been no dumb nigga with my money, bro. Y'all got to understand, bro. The way to get to where you want to be in life is having self-discipline and having some type of financial structure. In today's society, the average uh, African-American is going to fuck itself over. You want to know why? Because he's going to he's gonna dress and press. He's going to feel like he got something to prove. So he's going to wear whatever social media wants him to wear. This nigga, bro, this nigga is going to go all out his way to have a nigga say, yeah, bro, you putting that shit on, bro. You're a top tier fucking dick eater, and you're gay as hell. If you living for another man's validation, oh, let me goddamn down put this out there too. I don't care anything about your sexual preference. Whatever you want to do is that's how, that's on y'all. I'm sorry to use that word, but you're weird, bro. For you to want another man's validation, bro, that's crazy, bro. At the end of the day, bro, you should be comfortable within your own skin, and you should be able to know that whatever you wearing, as long as it make you feel good, that's cool. A nigga will go buy a track hawk, go buy a Hellcat. Go buy Gucci shoes and be designer down because he want a nigga say, you put that shit on, twin. Nigga, y'all think I buy designer because I really care about this shit. Truth be told, I buy designer because designer is like, it's it's partially for my image, but it's also because me personally, bro, I used to want that shit for real when I was a young nigga. So I went to go buy that. It's some niggas out here that don't even want designer. You just wearing that shit because you want your partner to say, you, you got that look good. Boy, you're a dick eater, boy. If your ass don't go wear the Jordans you want to wear and wear your little flare jeans and shit like that, you feel me? So these folk be funny as hell, bro. Me personally, bro, today I'm just dropping a lot of free gems and free advice and shit like that because like I said, bro, I think people be forgetting that I'm a normal person. Just because I do this vlog and shit and I show y'all all this little fancy shit and show y'all the, the different ways to live and how good life look and shit, don't think that I don't have problems too. I get pulled over, I go to jail, I be depressed, I have whole problems. I have relationship problems when I'm in one. Nigga, I have problems just like everybody else. You just gonna have two different types of problems. And I tell people this all the time. Do you wanna cry in a fucking Mar Marta bus or do your ass wanna cry in a Rolls Royce? La Casper is gonna choose the fucking Rolls Royce every time, people. I be damn, I take my sad ass and go cry in the Marta bus. Cause one thing about that shit is, bro, you could sit there and lay in your goddamn bed, be sad about what you got going on. But if you get off your ass and try to change your situation, I promise you, it'll make your shit 10 times different. These niggas spend a lot of times mourning, bro. Fuck sitting down and living in the moment, bro. You're gonna go through a thousand issues and have 50 million problems throughout your life. But one thing I can tell you is, when you live in the fucking moment, you're never gonna get past that shit. The nigga that lives in the moment, he gonna be stuck in the moment for forever, bro. The nigga that got down, looks at the situation like, damn, this is either a lesson or a blessing, takes that shit, moves on to the next level. I promise you, he's progressing a thousand times faster than the average man. A lot of y'all waste y'all fucking time sitting in the moment, bro. Me personally, bro, I get fucked over by life a couple times, but life gives me a lot of blessings. So when I get fucked over, I take it as a lesson or a blessing and move my ass the fuck forward. So all y'all niggas that still crying about some shit that happened to y'all last week, oh my fucking God, bro. You're never gonna get to the next level thinking about what the fuck happened to you in the past bro move forward life is about the future your ass can't go back in time but you could definitely move forward right with that being said worry about your future people fuck the past fuck what you got going on fuck your problems everybody has problems nigga i have problems my mama has problems my grandma has problems Nigga, your nana got problems. Is a nigga with a million dollars right now worried about how he gonna pay his taxes this year? Everybody got problems, rich niggas and all. So you gotta choose what type of problems you wanna have. You get what I'm saying? You gotta choose what type of problems you wanna have. And me personally, I'ma always choose to cry in that goddamn Rolls Royce if I can. The fuck are you talking about? But yeah, man, I'ma get back to y'all with the vlog in a second, people. I'm finna get back to talking on Instagram and shit like that. I'ma tune in with y'all. Hard, you gotta understand when life get hard, life is getting hard because it's setting you up for when it's gonna get easy, bruh. I had a yeah, damn boy. You leave your partner for one second. This nigga put he show you a Bugatti. What the hell? Can't leave this nigga by himself. God damn, shouter. Oh, I, yeah, I love it. You can't leave me alone too long. I get the around That nigga get the fine and shit. What the hell? Oh my fucking god, bro. That bitch is so nasty.
That bitch is nasty. Oh my. I ain't even got my whole outfit on today, but I popped it, man. We go Christian Dior. We go Amiri on the jean, Christian Dior on the belt. On the top half, I got on the tank top, but I really popped it with the shirt too. You feel me? We go, we go Fendi sweater, short sleeve, motherfucker. I'm gonna put this shit on later. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna be like, whoo, shit, this nigga Casper always popping his shit, man. But yeah, man, y'all folk out there, keep tuning in, watching my videos, bro. Everything I do, bro, I wanna let y'all know, bro, it's bigger to life than me just got on trying to show y'all everything I be having going on. I wanna give y'all advice and let y'all know that I'm a human being just like y'all too. And one thing about me is, bro, I go through a lot of fucking issues, bro. Yesterday I was depressed as hell, bro. And I usually don't get on social media and talk about shit like this, but. Niggas be having problems, bro. Niggas are normal people and have problems just like everybody else, bro. With, regardless of my financial situation, bro, shit get hectic for me too. Now y'all look at this crib, bro. This shit is hard. I just want to give y'all some lights. We look cool, like this shit is cool. That shit is cool, man. That shit is cool as hell. But like me personally, bro, I just be want to give y'all like a little bit of insight on my life and shit like that. Cause I feel like y'all get to see the outside, but I don't let y'all be involved in my personal. And y'all are my fans. This is more like a family. The reason why I started this shit is because one thing uh, about me is I never really had any hobbies for real. So uh, I used to just make money and sit in the house all day. And that shit boring as hell. Making money, sitting in the house, smoking all day. What type of life is that, bro? To think that I had never got on a plane until I was like 20 years old is some crazy ass shit, right? So, a lot of shit I be doing, bro, it be motivational and inspirational, but it also be because y'all think this is, like, some shit that I've been doing for a long time, bro. Like, I done had money for a long time, but using my money and really having fun with life, bro, I used to really just have a shitty-ass aspect on life because I didn't do nothing, bro. Never did anything, bro, but... But just sit in the house all day and waste a lot of time, bro. And that shit don't do nothing but make a nigga depressed, bro. And set you up to be sad as hell, bro. And me personally, bro... I want y'all to understand it's a lot It's a lot more to life, bro. You should get out here and do whatever the fuck you want to do. You should experience the fuck out of life. You should take life and grab that bitch and put it in a chokehold, bro. I don't care if you to your last $300, bro. Don't buy no shoes, bro. Go book a flight, bro. I used to spend a lot of time sitting in fucking Atlanta doing nothing but just buying clothes, buying shoes, and buying stupid shit. And one thing about that shit is, bro, I'd be happy for the moment. And then... It be gone. That shit be gone quick as hell. But you want to know what lasts? The shit that lasts, bro, memories, bro. You cannot put no value on that shit, bro. The times I have on them flights, bro, the conversations you have with people you meet, bro, all these shit you be seeing in these YouTube videos, these are memories I'm going to remember for the rest of my life, bro. That pair of shoes, once that bitch get beat up and thrown through the mud, a new pair of shoes going to come out again. You're not going to give a fuck about that shit. But the memories you make, bro, that shit matters, bro. So I want y'all folks to have a lot of life experiences. And if you can't, like, have life experiences right now, let me be the motivation and the inspiration to have life experiences for y'all so y'all can see it through my eyes. And one day, bro, y'all gonna be in the same position as me. I promise y'all. Just stay consistent with whatever you're doing. Make sure you have some type of self-discipline. Put yourself in the right position. Surround yourself around the right people, bro. And I promise you, bro, everything just falls into place. I don't give a fuck what position you're in. I used to sleep on the leather couch, guys. Real shit. I didn't have no badass, crazy ass household. Now, mind you, I stayed in a decent area. I had a nice family. My my people, bro, they nice as hell. They do everything they, they could for me. The shoes and shit like that, I got what I needed. Clothes, I got what I needed. But one thing I could tell you is, bro, I spent five years of my life inside a room. inside. Uh, it was supposed to be my grandparents' office sleeping on the couch because my parents had split up when I was about... My parents had split up when I was about uh 13. So... To think from 13 to the time I was about like 16, 17, I had I had went from having my my own room till I was 13 to sleeping on the couch, bro. That shit'll make you look at shit a lot differently, bro. And it'll make you respect shit more. That's why I feel like I'm so humble, because I realized you could go from being in a good ass situation to being in a, a whatever situation. You feel me? So me personally, bro, hold up, more motivation, people. I, I wish I could I can't wait till I get me a little villa. Villa would have got down, you feel me, a Porsche, but man, like Y'all just gotta understand, bro, like, in certain situations, bro, life got down, give you your deal of cards because he's trying to show you something, bro. Everything in life is an obstacle or a test just to push you to that next situation, bro. If you make it through your obstacle or your test, bro, I promise you, bro, you'll be straight. It's the people that give up, bro. Don't give up, people. Keep going, stay hungry, and keep striving. Because one thing about it is, bro, life is going to get hard. It's going to whoop your fucking ass. It's going to deal you a bad hand of cards every time. You ain't always going to win at Uno, motherfucker. You ain't always going to win when you're playing talk, train, whatever, whatever casino game you want to call it. Nigga, gambling, whatever. Life is a fucking gamble, bro. And one thing about it is you got to take the risk, bro. And sometimes when you take risks, you get your ass whooped. And sometimes when you take risks, you get a reward. But once you get your rewards, 
Make sure you keep putting yourself in a position to keep receiving your rewards. Make sure you invest your money in the right ways and do things the right way. All I tell y'all people is, bro, I love y'all. Y'all are more than just my fans. Y'all are like, we like friends. So I just tell y'all a lot of shit because I want y'all to hear this shit. But we finna get back into the vlog, though, people. I'm finna do a lot more uh, entertaining shit. I feel like I should just give y'all some advice and talk to y'all. See y'all folks in a second. Thanks for motivational purposes, people. It's a lot of shit that I can't even get yet, but... Man, all of my shit on the way. All of my shit really already in my hands. I just gotta deal my cards, right, people? I keep telling y'all about dealing these damn cards. Just gotta deal these damn cards, right, people? But yeah, man. This shit beautiful, bro. Gated community. Shit nice as hell. That shit, man. Y'all ignore my mirror, bro. Y'all got. <laughs> I don't wanna talk about that shit. When it fell off, bro, that shit pissed me off. But y'all, I don't wanna talk about that shit. But yeah. My shit missing the mirror right now. We're going to leave that alone. No, leave that to the birds. This shit been gone for like a week. But uh, I'm supposed to be getting it put back on later on today, though. So if I get it put back on, y'all will see it in the video. But yeah, people, we finna go pull up on Uncle Jay. I'll get back to y'all when I get there. My bitch look good, but my bitch don't look as good as this bitch. God damn. Nigga say shit. Shit. Orange interior. I'm talking about some god down they popped it with this one. I had to pull up on him. He showed me it on FaceTime. I had to come see this bitch in person. Shit. I have a vet. That boy pull up lamb. Lamb. Today we pulling up back to back in the motherfuckers. I ain't gonna lie. This shit getting crucial. Back to back. I'm in that vet vet, but he in that lamb shop, motherfucker. Man, hold on. Y'all can't even see it, man. That's a lamb shop. Man, y'all can't even see it, but that is a that is a lamb shot. We in that vet vet. They in a the lamb shot. I don't know how to got lamb bloop. So I get the point though, man. Lamb chop back to back with the vetty man. That boy Jay. But yeah. Nigga say, nigga say, yeah, man. Look, vetty weddy. Very wetty. We right here eating that big pink. It's been here since 1996. I'm finna order some food from them and let y'all know what it's talking about. Oh, <laughs> hell no. Nah. So I got me a donut burger and I got a super sized biscuit that's supposed to be on the way, but they ain't got here yet. So we just finna look at the donut burger and my little lemonade for the time being. But I got down, try my, uh, my, what you call it? My donut burger on camera and I'll let y'all know what I think about it. Then I'll let y'all know how I feel about the big ass biscuit whenever it get here. So we're gonna get straight into it. Hold up though, before we do that. Jay, what the hell you got? I'm healthy, man. I don't know, some type of egg Benedict, goddammit. French toast, okay, and then, I don't know. Okay, we got dinner with the big pink burger. Sit up, look crazy. Okay, let me see. Yup, yup, yup. Okay, cool. Brie over here with some healthy shit. She got some chips and a damn wrap. Okay. She said her drink tastes like ass. She said that shit tastes like ass. What they say, look, Casper solo today, people. Went on a date by myself. It is. I bet. So I'm finna try my burger on camera and let y'all know how to my fork, bro. All right, so we finna try to do a donut burger. I would eat it with my hand, but I ain't trying to get my hands out. Sticky people, hold on. Let's see what I'm talking about. Mm, mm, mm. 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 It's cool. Me personally, I'm gonna give it a bit like a like an eight out of ten. It ain't the best thing in the world, but it's sweet and savory. Down there, like it's eating good, bro. Uh, Hey, this little bitch ass nigga got three meals and he still wanna eat my damn food. I'm sick of this nigga. I don't grab mocha at me. Hey, excuse me. Is this a bite for cigarettes? Is it about snacks like this? Is it a bite for cigarettes? 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 I think it's still good. I wake up every morning waiting on the sweet and savory, like eating like, uh, I'm trying to think, like pretzel and chocolate, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, this right here, cool. Fries got on good as hell. Y'all know some people be ass on the fries, even crispy though. See, that's your but I'm gonna get back to y'all folks. You've never seen one my big biscuit. Yeah. Yeah, they tried to the fuck out me with this big biscuit. I ain't even finna eat this on camera. This bitch look burnt. I'm gonna try it, just not on camera. It's probably not gonna be enjoyable. I'm gonna eat it anyways. 
I'm gonna beat the fuck out you. <laughs> Shoo him away, twin. Shoo. <laughs> Somebody palm tree just hit different, make it look at everything different. I ain't gonna lie. Shit a vibe, man. That shit is a vibe, man. Yeah, yeah, I fought with Miami, man. It was a lot of reasons why I came out here, but one of the reasons is definitely the vibe, though, boy. Vibe be hitting different. Bop, bop. Boy, this shit is hard, boy. Hold on. And not only is it hard, he got the old school. That ain't a new one. That's the ooh. He that bitch so hard, bro. God uh, damn, that bitch nice. That shit nice as hell, man. I thought my little shit sit low, but this shit low as hell, though, boy. I ain't gonna cap. My shit ain't nothing compared to this bitch. This bitch sit low as fuck, man. Say this shit on the way, though. Vibes. She hard. With the wing on the back. Look at that boy Uncle Jay, man. Hopping out the, hopping out the big boy whoop. All right, so we got a little change of location, man. Shit, the other spot was cool, but yeah, shit, the view on this one a little bit different, man. View on this one a little bit crucial. But yeah, man, we had to change the location. Y'all see, I just posted my pictures, so by the time y'all see this video, the outfit will already be out, shit like that, you feel me? But some player shit, man. They say player shit on at the top of the top, man. Anytime I go to the top of the city, man, y'all folks coming with me, y'all know that. Believe it. I love y'all folks, man. Thank y'all to everybody that helped me get to the position I'm in. Thank y'all to everybody to believe in me, all the people to call themselves my fans, man. Y'all ain't my fans, y'all my family. I love y'all folks, man. This shit getting bigger and bigger, I promise you. <sighs> y'all my shit fixed today. Today's been a good day, people. Dream. <laughs> yeah, man. This shit big on big every time. Shit, big on big, it's getting colossal. I see y'all folks in a second. All right, man, so we go gallery department on the shirt, Louis V on the belt. We go Miri on the jean. We go got down Louis Vuitton done on the shoes, man. Yeah, folks, no, I got down to get washed. It be in, man, like Mike Tyson. But yeah, folks, that's some calm shit. Yeah, folks, uh, C8 having troubles, folks. Long story short, goddamn, I just got it back a couple days ago and the transmission was supposed to be fixed and it was supposed to be transmission fluid in it and my brakes was supposed to be changing shit. They claim they forgot to wipe the codes off, but for some reason I start driving my shit and a battery light come on. I get all type of electrical warning codes. So long story short, they didn't do none of the maintenance they said they was going to do on my shit. And if I keep driving this bitch, I'm going to end up blowing the engine out this motherfucker. So we finna go put the Corvette down for the night, people. And we finna see if uh, one of my partners could let me drive one of their cars or I could find somebody to let me rent a car real quick so I could drive around for the next day or two until I get this bitch back. So with that being said, the Corvette is down for the uh, count for a little while, people. I'll let y'all know when the Corvette get back, but we're gonna see if we can find something else to jump into. So I'll see y'all folks when I figure this shit out. All right. Uh, well, YouTube, Instagram, I already know because I already told they ass. Everybody on Instagram, y'all folks say hey to YouTube. Long story short, people, I'm driving the car. Now, mind you, I just got this car back three days ago from supposedly getting maintenance. They tell me they, they did everything they was supposed to do as far as my maintenance go. Why the fuck I been driving this car around for two days? Next thing you know, this bitch told my service transmission now unable to shift soon. They talking about they changed the transmission fluid. They changed my brakes. They put new tires on this bitch. Y'all put new tires on this bitch for sure. Because my tires down show look new. I ain't going to lie. They look. Hold on now. My tires look new. But when it comes to these fucking brakes, these brakes are still shitty and squeaking like a bitch. And when it comes to my transmission fluid, I mean, y'all niggas might have reset the damn, uh, y'all might have reset the fucking shit to say y'all put transmission fluid in this bitch. But ain't no way you put transmission fluid in my shit and it's saying I need to fucking service my transmission or else it ain't gonna be able to shift. Lying ass motherfuckers ain't shit, goddamn do shit. So with that being said, people, uh, I just got the vet back from getting maintenance, but it looks like we finna have to give the vet back to them again so they can do the maintenance all over again because if I drive this bitch around, I'ma end up either A, fucking my transmission up or B, I'ma blow the engine out this bitch. So 
we finna go drop the vet off to get some maintenance done. I probably won't get the vet back for another two, three days, maybe a week. We'll see what happens. But in the meantime, y'all know Lil Casper ain't never driving in nothing regular. My little partner say he got a car I could drive until I get my car back. So we finna go pick up the whip and we gonna see what the hell my partner gonna put me in. I told him I want a Benz or like a BMW, AMG or like an M4, M5 or something like that. He said he gonna hook me up. So when we get there to go pick up the new car to uh, drive around until this shit get fixed, I got down to show y'all. But let me give y'all a little quick tour of my car before I got down put this bitch down for the night. Hold up. Ugh. Niggas say, yeah, you definitely put new tires on this bitch. You definitely put new brakes on this bitch. But you down showing service, my goddamn transmission, you stupid fuck. So, yeah, man, y'all folks say bye-bye to the vet, man. The vet finna go bye-bye for the night. And we finna got down hopping something new. So, like I said, folks, I'm finna go pull up and meet my partner at the gas station. When I meet him at the gas station, we gonna swap the whips out. And I'll let y'all see it when I get there, folks. Bye-bye, uh, vet. I'll see you when you're done getting your maintenance done. Daddy will see you in a couple days. We finna go pick up... Uh, a random bitch. I guess I'll be driving a random bitch until you're fixed. Goodbye. Feel good to have good ass pot. Boy, Wayne get a nigga right every time, man. That boy pull up on me, swap my shit out instant, man. Hold on. Now he pull up big body. He pull up big body. Red interior. That boy said he gonna let me drive the baby for the night, man. Uh, say bye bye to my bitch. We'll see her in a couple days when the maintenance done. But in the meantime, boy, we're gonna be driving a big body, man. That boy Wayne put me in the AMG tonight, man. Yeah. How is that? But yeah, man, we're gonna say bye bye to the baby till the maintenance done. I'm gonna miss this motherfucker, but in the meantime, Wayne, I'm putting a nigga in that big bitch for the night, man. Okay, cool. Y'all thought I was playing. Y'all see, y'all nigga don't waste no time, man. <laughs> Drop that bitch off, how straight in this motherfucker I'm at. We in the AMG now, baby. They say this shit a little bit different. By the crow. I'm rolling right into the men's by the crow. I see this shit, man. Big boy AMG. This bitch in comfort, though. Green with red spaghetti guts, man. You know, motherfucker, man. The Christmas motherfucker. Any goddamn way. Y'all folks see what's going on, though. Anything about me is I'm not going to let shit ruin my show. Ain't shit going to shit on my party. Oh, they say they say my vet needs service. The transmission finna, finna blow out on that bitch. Well, I'm finna go pick up my partner AMG and grab that bitch and drive it until my car fits. So, with that being said, man, we in the AMG thing. I want to see what the hell this Sport Plus shit talking about. Uh, uh, really might wait till we get on the highway, but... When we get on the highway, I'm gonna let y'all see a little pull of this Sport Plus shit, man. I'll get back to y'all folks in a second, man. Hey, man. Ooh! Ooh, that big ass, boy, that big ass shit, boy. First of all, this bitch sit up high as hell. Second of all, nigga, to get up for this bitch to be as, as tall as it is, man, this tall ass shit get the fuck up out of there. Oh my God, nigga. It's a big boy truck, though, nigga. Nigga, this shit. Oh my God, this shit snappy, nigga. This bitch is snappy, nigga. Y'all hear that shit? That bitch is a continuous pull. That bitch ain't changed yet. This motherfucker is a snappy little bitch. Damn, nigga. Just jump in front of a nigga moving in a big ass shit and you in this little Rudy Poot ass C300. Now, if I would have blown your ass across the fucking highway, your ass would have been sick or dead. Stupid ass nigga. I hate niggas that don't know how to drive. Why the fuck would you get in front of me moving 100 plus in that little ass shit? Come here, nigga. Fuck him up real quick. Ah, ah. Y'all see the boost? The boost all the way down. This motherfucker is going. This bitch is putting the power to the fucking floor. Shit. I love these big ass. I ain't never been no big ass whip. But every time you be in one, it make you feel like a fucking gangster. Cause it's like, why the fuck is this shit sitting up so high? I feel like a dad. This AMG made me feel like a dad, bro. Why the fuck did this shit sit up so high, bro? But anyways, I'm going to get to y'all when we on the regular street so I can let y'all hear some snap, crackle, pops, and burbles. And then I'm going to go get something to eat, take my ass to the house, and we probably going to be done with the vlog for the day, and we'll pick this vlog back up tomorrow. So I'll see y'all folks when I get to the food spot, man. Now we in the HOV lane late at... We in... Hey, hey man, we in the HOV lane late at night. I got a chance to show y'all these snap, crackles, and pops. Let's see if y'all can hear these hoes. Turbo though, nigga say I couldn't I couldn't show y'all no snap crackers and pops, but y'all ass hear that turbo though. 
Hold up, bro. Let's get a pool in this bitch. All right. All right. All right. This motherfucker going. This motherfucker is going, people. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This bitch floating. Oh, shit. All right, let me slow down before I got down C12 or some shit. There, as always, got this bitch somewhere. Downshift the fuck out this motherfucker. Ooh, that bitch sound good as hell on the downshift. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, you know 12 around here somewhere, nigga. You used to get to seeing a bunch of goddamn ambulance and fire trucks and shit. 12 ain't too far away. Hold on, now. Down this motherfucker pull. This bitch pull so smooth, bruh. I kid you not. This big ass AMG is. I damn near want this more than a track hog. This bitch, it's more expensive than track hog, I can tell you that much. That bitch get to 100 so fast. Damn, I need gas. Well, looks like we're not doing no more pools for a little second because Le Casper need gas, and I ain't finna waste a lot of gas in this bitch. I just picked this bitch up. What? Hold up now. Hold up now. Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. This bitch get to 100 so fucking fast, bro. And this bitch be moving, like, for this bitch to be as big as it is, nigga, this shit be moving. Swift as hell, too. Gonna get exactly where it fucking need to be. Hey, man, this bitch be moving, this big bitch. Big bitch. Big bitch already getting up to it. Bro, that shit get to 100 so fast for this shit to be as big as it is. Let me slow this bitch down, though, because like I said, I don't want to have to go get no gas, and I don't feel like seeing 12, so. I get back to y'all folks when we on the regular road, man. Yeah, y'all nigga don't know this, but. car be sounding too good, boy. All right, we finally had a complete stop. Let's see if y'all can hear these pops, man. Y'all hear that? I don't want to do it now. Fuck it, though. It was doing it earlier. It was doing it earlier. Oh, yeah, I hear that shit. That little shit sound like nigga making popcorn, bitch. Popcorn? Anybody want some popcorn? All right, I'm done. I'm finna go get something to eat. I see how folks are saying. Yeah, my boy pull up this nigga on his shoulder lately. Oh, you, you know, he always with me, man. It crazy, though, Twig, because you, usually you don't have that nigga all the time. You been having this nigga consistently lately. You must be pulling up on some hoes or something. Who the hell you keep yeah, showing this monkey to, man? Yeah, stupid. <laughs> hey, man. I ain't gonna say too much, y'all. Hey, hey, man. This is the guy with the plan trying, right here. trying to get what? Nah, I ain't mean to use that word. Trying he trying to get I mean, I would assume if he walk around with the monkey, he's trying to, but obviously he got somebody he talking to that's a little bit more important on the phone. I apologize. She thought, <laughs> Hey, it seemed like the monkey got a mama. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> YouTube, so we just pulled up at this Dominican spot that the monkey man told me to come to, man. This shit, it should be fine, man. We at Delfina's, man. They got me in the middle of the hood in the big ass AMG talking about go eat Delfina's and shit. We finna see what Dominican spot talking about, though. I don't care if y'all if y'all try to play with this shit. Best believe the motherfucker on me. But we got Pop on the phone, man. Say what's up to the YouTube, Pop. What's happening? What's happening? All right. Any goddamn ways, I get back to y'all when I order my food. I'll let y'all see what it's talking about. I can't really record me sitting in front of this motherfucker because I be damn if I'm out here lacking and vlogging in front of the, the hood Dominican spot. But we'll see y'all when we leave with Delfina's and the food and all that good shit. So I see y'all folks in a second. All right, so I just ordered some shit from Delfina's. The plug slash monkey man told me to go to Delfina's, man. These folks got, uh, I ordered some plantains, some fried cheese, salami, and steak, and... Some old shit. I guess we'll see what the fuck it look like when we get here. I, this is my first time having Dominican food, but me personally, I don't discriminate against anybody's food preferences. I eat whatever the fuck looks good. And shit, I asked the plug what's good in this area, and he said Delfina's is good, so we finna see if Delfina's is good. If this shit trash, I'ma let y'all know. Y'all know I keep shit genuinely fucking honest. Now, just to be 
just let this be known. That don't mean all Dominican food bad. This just might be a bad Dominican food spot. I'm not going to know until I try it. But if I see here and say this shit ass, don't feel like I'm discriminating against y'all food. I will try it again. But if it's ass, it's because this food spot is ass. I'm not saying Dominican food is ass because food spot. But we're going to see what the fuck happened, though, people. I'll let y'all know when the food get here. La Casper is finna chill and wait for his food. I need to be watching my surroundings. So I see y'all folks in a second. So we just got my food from the Dominican spot. They're going to Monkey Man right there. Believe it or not, this is the Monkey Man's family restaurant, people. So we just ordered some uh, plantains, some goddamn, some plantain, plantains, whatever you want to call them. We got the goddamn cheese stick, motherfucker, the salami, motherfucker, the steak. Shit like that with a little sauce on the side. And then I got me my little passion fruit drink. So I'm going to try this shit when I get to the crib. I'm going to let y'all know how I feel about this shit. i see y'all folks in a second. Now, mind y'all, I told y'all I really don't too much care for sports cars. But I got to let y'all know, bro. This motherfucker is fun as hell for it to be as big as it is. This big bitch is fun. Hold up. I'm finna go down and show y'all some shit. Yeah, big bitch. Ain't the loon. It's the big bitch. Hold on, huh? Take the big bitch around the road. Hold on, huh? Y'all hear that shit? Nigga, that shit sound like a gun. <laughs> bitch sound like a, a fire. Nigga, say, y'all hear that shit? This big ass bitch, man. I'm gonna take this bitch spin one more time around the block, then we going to the crib. Casper can't trim tonight, man. Come on, now. Huh? Yeah, I know what I do. We go Mary, Louis V on the belt. Hold up. We go gallery department on the shirt, man. Stop being racist. You feel me? Bust down on my watch, man. I ain't going to do too much talking. Man, I got, man, you feel me? I ain't going to say too much about the car, but I'm going to give y'all a little view of this shit real quick, and then we finna go to the crib. One last view, because I feel like I see this bitch again. Big by the bitch, boy. V8. This ain't the regular one. Right after that, take me into the prison world, Having this bitch red and tear. Ain't the regular one, huh? Yeah. See, I fuck when I get to the crib, though, shot Peace. All right, so we back into the vlog, people. I ain't gonna lie. I tried the plantains by itself. These motherfuckers were dry as the fuck. But... You put it with the little sauce right here. The little sauce right here. That shit. Mm -hmm. That the one right there. That shit taste like some some mac sauce. All right, hold up. I ain't, I can't just spend all my time eating this though. Okay, so I think this is like a cheese stick. I'm gonna try it by itself, and then I'm gonna try it with the sauce. I mean, it's cool. I feel like they should have gave the nigga some marinara sauce for the motherfucker, though. Everything better with the, whatever this is. Whatever this is, it makes everything better. This steak, him. And then I think this is salami. Whatever, bro. Let's see what the hell this shit talking about. Shit tastes like sausage. Pause. It's better with the sauce, though. Anyways. Alright, so we back because I really forgot to give y'all a rating on that drink, motherfucker. I forgot what the hell this is. It's a passion fruit drink. It's good. Kind of tastes like pineapple juice to me. That bitch is sweet as hell, though. They make the teeth hurt. It ain't that bad. But it's good, though. And the food, I'm going to get it a bit like a. Get it a bit like a. 7.5 out of 10. The sauce make that bitch a 10, though. Whatever, though. All right, so that's it for today's vlog, people, man. Y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. 
And y'all keep tuning in because y'all know it's only getting bigger and better. So with that being said, I will see y'all folks next time. And y'all folks, keep hustling, keep going. And like I've been told y'all, don't live in the moment. See y'all. What y'all got going on, man? It's Casper. I'm doing the giveaways again, but today it's a little bit better and it's a little bit more advanced. So y'all look at this. I'm finna show y'all. Let me flip the camera. If you go on my page and click the link in my bio and scroll down, I'm still doing the $750 offers on Cash App, but I've just added a couple more new offers to my page. Now you can get $200 to $750 dash door credit. And I also have StockX giveaways for people that want to get shoes, clothes, and different stuff like that off of StockX. So, hey, man, to all the people that's been following me, man, I know y'all keep seeing these giveaways, man. Y'all go tap in. Y'all click the link in my bio. And y'all go click any of those offers. So I'm going to explain to y'all how y'all get your reward. You're going to click the link in my bio. Find a reward that you want to apply for. After you click to apply for the reward, you're going to do an optional survey that takes about five minutes to complete 10 offers after you complete that survey and those 10 offers is going to take you and let you redeem your reward but guess what i'm gonna make it a little bit better so just to make it a little bit better for y'all man it takes about 24 to 48 hours for your redemption code to come through so you could get your reward so in the meantime anybody that can send me a screenshot to my instagram of a completed survey and 10 offers i will cash up y'all 20 dollars, man so let's get it